Hi everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick demo of how to delineate a watershed using a topographic map. So um, this map here is made up of topographic lines. Um, each of these lines here represents a constant elevation like the one I'm highlighting uh, with my pointer. Um, oftentimes, or, or a complete topographic map will always have a legend that lets you know explicitly what the contour interval is. That is the elevation difference between each of these lines marked on the map. But if you don't know, um, if you if you just have a little cut off section of this map, you can um, generally determine the contour interval by simply looking for the marked topographic line. So here I'm going to go in an area where we seem to have pretty consistent. Um, topography so there's this is a hill slope and it's going downward in the direction that my mouse is moving there and so we can see we have a um, marked topographic line that indicates 900 feet of elevation and another one that indicates 800 feet of elevation if we count the number of lines in between um, going from 900 to 800 we'll find there are or um, the number of segments between them there are one two three four five Five until I get to 800 there. Um, so that's an elevation difference of 100 feet um, with five segments. So um, just from looking at those numbers, I can figure out that the interval there is, tw is 20 feet in between each line. And so that means when lines are closer together, you're on a ste steeper slope like over here. Um, and when lines start to get a little further apart, um, it's flattening out a bit. Now what we want to do is um, find the boundaries of our watershed. And so let's say that I'm interested in um, finding the boundaries of the watershed until um, this location right here on the stream. So what I'm looking for um, is all of the um, all of the land that is going to drain to that particular point on my stream. So what I'm going to do first um, is highlight all of the streams that drain directly to that point. And I'm going to pick a color for that. I'm going to use purple because I, I like that. It's a nice bold color. So I'm going to drain starting from as far upstream away from my point as possible. And I'm just following along this um, blue line indicating a stream on my map. And then all of the tributaries that are leading into that. And I apologize that the inaccuracy of my pen here um, on my computer, but um, as long as you get reasonably close, that's highlighting. To, um, okay, here's all of the stream network that drains to that point. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do it really makes this um, activity much easier is to highlight the other streams and, and bodies of water that are not connected or don't drain down to that point in my stream network. Um, or in the assignment you're going to be doing, it's that don't drain to your um, reservoir. So here I'm, I'm choosing blue and I'm going to follow along some of these other stream networks um, that are either downstream of my point. So um, any of the water in these blue streams will not um, find its way to my red X there. So there we go. And you don't need, if you have a large map, um, you don't need to, to highlight every single stream. You just want to do the ones that are nearby um, to your stream. What this is doing is defining the outer extent of um, poss possible boundary of where my um, watershed boundary could extend to. Okay, so now that I've done that, I've highlighted the streams um, that are not draining to my point. Now I'm going to look for um, hilltops and ridges and saddles. So um, hilltops are, are indicated by closed circles. So here's one hilltop. Um, you might occasionally see a closed circle with hatch marks inside of it, which would actually indicate a basin. Um, so just make sure that your closed circles don't have hatch marks inside of them, but neither of these do. Um, so these are hilltops. Another way you can verify that is, are the um, 
topographic lines or the topographic elevations decreasing um, as you go move away from it and they are indeed so here I'm starting at um, above 50 uh, 1500 feet and then I'm moving down to 13 in that direction and and same with here I'm starting at um, let's see 20 40 60 80 so that looks like that's actually um, 1600 feet up there at that hilltop and I'm moving downhill in this direction and in all directions so <clears throat> those are some hilltops um, also you want to take note of what a saddle so a saddle would be a reasonably flat area in between two hilltops. So here's an example of a saddle. Um, and also these ridges, so areas where the topographic uh, lines tend to fold over on themselves. And these are important because if, if my pointer is now a drop of water falling on the land here, um, right here, just um, below that uh, curvature in the topographic lines, a drop would fall and then it would go downhill in this direction, in this general direction towards my purple highlighted stream there. But if I had another drop of water that fell on the other side of that ridge, like over here for example, you can see the direction of downhill at that point is, is moving in this direction towards those blue streams there. So um, I'm going to mark in again red um, these topographic features that can be used to define the boundary of my watershed. So I'm going to put an X on the hilltops, an X in this saddle, um, and then some X's going down these ridges. So you don't need to do it at every single line, every single um, sort of fold in your topographic lines, but um, I'll mark a few so I can kind of remind myself of where those look like they are. Um, and those look like the majority. So here, here are some other um, hilltops in my on my map. But those last two that I've marked are unlikely to be um, involved in the boundary of my watershed because they're they're over by these blue streams instead of by my purple stream. So now that I've marked these, I'm going to choose a different color. I think I'm going to pick gray to um, actually connect these red X's to define my boundary. So I'm going to start from my outlet and work my way up as best I can along this ridge here. Um, oops. Okay, there we go. So I'm doing my best to connect these um, red points about at a right angle. It's moving through the, the topographic um, lines at as best I can a right angle. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but there we go. Um, I have now what appears to be um, a closed um, boundary of my watershed in gray there.